Juan, can you hear me? I don't know what's going on with those mic and stike. I can't hear you. <clears throat> and my echo. Sending you another party invite. Hello? Now I got you. Jesus, man. S yeah. No, it didn't. It's on Twitch. Well, I don't care. I'm watching it on Twitch. It says Twitch, 25 minutes to go. They're doing interviews and stuff, but the actual thing hasn't started yet. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I, that's, I'm seeing the same thing on Twitch. They do the interviews, and then they go back to the timer. we got 24 minutes. Do we got another... You could say that the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere... Ting, awaits. yeah. I'm joined by Justin Massengill from PlayStation. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, Deej. I'm very excited to be here. I'm glad to have you here. You know, I've sat on your couch for many a live stream. <coughs> You've interviewed me. Now, the shoe is on the other foot. How does that feel? Uh, I feel a little vulnerable right now, but I trust you. No, you're in a safe place, I promise. So, uh, we're going to be playing Destiny today. After the presentation's over, uh, Guardians are going to storm into this room, single file. Are you watching hopefully. a Destiny and guy interview a guy with black earrings? First ever Destiny 2 LAN party. So no, because I'm looking for... Destiny on the PS4 Pro. Are you excited? Um, I'm very excited. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys have done. The link you sent me. So, uh, you play Destiny when you're not talking to the yeah, PlayStation community. You are the Twitch link? Spare time. Uh, how do you like yeah. to play Destiny? Um, if you, are you going to watch it through your Xbox on Twitch? No, I can't. How come? Uh, there's an update, a 12 gig update. So my Twitch is on my phone. Are you serious? <laughs> it's just, it's twitch.tv forward slash bungee. It's fun. So, uh, like I said, we're going to come in here. Yeah, all right, you're right with me. We're going to play Destiny in some different ways. Uh, what is the first shot that you want to fire into the world of Destiny 2? I have a feeling this is going to be a hard no, but I want to see a new raid. Uh, that is going to be absolutely a hard, hard no. Uh, but, um, you know, given the what? other wide in the world. options, uh, what are what? some of the activities that you're hoping to experience before you leave the building today? Uh, I'd really like to get my hands on some new Crucible stuff. Are you connected to this cord? Am I connected? Yeah, I am. Like myself. That could be He's recording right now. Yeah, I think we can make Discord is? What? So, uh, check this is out. recording what me? You bring for me? Uh, like you're, oh, because I think you're still on the phone call. We did bring something special. I left it. So how do I get out of it? it Should like be able to just to like unboxing. hang up or something. All right, so I'm going to oh, the microphone off to you. So, yeah, we do have this custom Destiny 2 box that we got created in honor of the gameplay premiere event. Uh, we're not giving it away today, but if you stay tuned to PlayStation social channels, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, etc., etc., you will find out later this summer how you can win this box and the PS4 Pro contained therein. Look at that. Ooh. Um, that's real nice. So if they follow you at PlayStation on Twitter, if they find you where you live on Facebook, uh, this too could be yours, uh, but we have 
an aircraft hangar full of PS4 Pros today. And uh, you'll see the entire venue. I mean, garbage. You know, we'll tease it right now, but if you look out across here, just. PS4 so I wrote down some Pro things that I want to see, see, or I hope to see. Someday, all of this will be yours. Maybe in about an hour or two, you'll have access to all of this. So we're looking forward to seeing the people who are in attendance at this event getting a hand on controller. Uh, some nice controlled hostilities right here in this space. Uh, thank you so much for being on hand for this. Thank you, uh, DJ. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> and uh, Destiny 2 gameplay premiere is rapidly approaching. Every time we break in on the countdown timer, it gets just a little bit closer. So stay tuned. We'll have more. That guy is so watch, red. More people for you to meet before the time comes for you to they see. They both are. Destiny 2 in <laughs> Must be just like. <laughs> you gotta, they gotta slow down that sodium. <laughs> So I mean, I, I just wanted to go through and, and tell you what I what I I don't know if I'll see all this stuff, but what I hope to see in Destiny 2 when it comes out. Okay, I think the first and most basic thing is new specials for everybody. I think I don't want to see the same abilities from Destiny 1. I think that'll be a cop out, and it would be cool to see some combo specials like combo abilities, like with the Warlock or the Titan, if they can do something together. You know, that'd be tight. Um, a bigger player hub, more than 16 p players in the hub. That's a definite. Uh, bigger open worlds. I felt like the worlds were kind of streamlined. It wasn't really open. Um, useful armors and weapons. So, you know, have some, a bit, some, some mechanic to where, like, the, the early armors and weapons have some usefulness later on in life, so it's not just a waste of leveling up. And then uh, something with the ships instead of a load screen, for crying out loud. Matchmaking and raids, smaller player count raids, so like being able to do some raids that were like only require three people. And then uh, refine the RNG system. All those are must have. Hate on the name, you are streamlined. I am streamlined. I don't know what that means. Austin. Austin! Austin! Oh, the traitor. The traitor? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> we are still counting down to the main event, and just like you, most of the people that work at Bungie are waiting for this live stream to begin up in our studio at a viewing party at Bungie. But I do have some teammates who are down here to experience the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere along with the community. And Aww. one of them is studio co-founder, chief creative officer, the game director for Destiny 1, and fellow guardian, Jason Jones. How's it going, Deesh? Jeez, kiss his butt, why don't you? I would love to hear a story about some of the experiences that you have had as a player of the game with the community. Right on. Make sure you uh, put some so red lipstick on there. In uh, yeah. Destiny 1, when we launched the game, we, we were really <clears> excited <throat> about it. We'd been playing it a lot. We, we thought people were going to love it. <laughs> Why not? No Hate on the name. I can't say that. That sounds so too corny. Hate when, on the name. Launched, um, we were all online you know, the, the minute that it went live. And I started playing. Did you hear my checklist, Austin? Awesome? With people from the community. I accepted every friend request that I got, and I, you know, went blind into the raid with groups. So I mean, I wasn't blind, but I was watching, I was pretending like I was blind. Um, I never, you know, told anybody that I worked at Bungie because that would have that would have ruined the, you know, this joy that I was experiencing watching people <laughs> see this for the first time. And anyway, there were, there were many fun moments in that in that time. Uh, but I remember the first uh, the first night that Zer showed up in the tower, yeah. and. Uh, we had been playing, I was in this group of, of three, and I don't know what we were doing, but um, we'd been playing all day, and people were talking about how they had to go to bed, and uh, we went back I love when these developers are like, I've been playing all day, and then you go check their, like, their gamer tag and stuff like that. They have, like, 1,100 achievement points from <laughs> six years ago. 30 minutes played in Destiny. All right, Austin, you let me know if I'm crazy, but this is what I want from Destiny 2. New abilities. Each character should have three new abilities instead of the same ones from Destiny 1. And combo abilities. Okay? Bigger player hub. So more than 16 players in the player hub would be awesome. Fine, jerk. 
And it what was, happened? Yeah, it was just an amazing experience to watch. Austin's just complaining. About what? Yeah, I don't know. That's my. He's always that's complaining. That's becomes real for us, right? Yeah, I mean, right. He I sold his that's Xbox that's One. I know. The, He's a sellout. Why, we should be complaining exactly about him. Why it, yeah, why it <laughs> so, as a player of the game, as a fan of the world that you had a hand in creating, what does this moment, what does this day mean to you? Um, I'll, I'll let the Destiny 2 team speak for themselves. They've done amazing work, and they're going to be showing it off. In, in Give me a second, Austin. I'll wait till this guy's I'm, done. I'm excited that we're one step closer today to me being able to play D2 as a, as a, as a player and have that, that same experience all, all over again, going into the world uh, fresh. That's awesome. And some of the people who are here in attendance today will also be playing, so we'll be sure to look over their shoulder and maybe get our first learnings about the world of Destiny 2. So the countdown continues. We are ever closer to the gameplay Matt, can you reveal hear me? for yeah. Destiny 2. Thanks so much. Heard static. You heard static? Yeah, I wasn't sure if we got disconnected. Disconnect. God, I'm so mad at my boys. How'd you lose it? <laughs> Got sick. You've been coughing all day. <clears throat> I don't know if I have cough drops. I'm gonna put my phone to charge. Let me know when it starts. Yeah, so you, got you got 15 minutes. You really just care about loot. So do you think they should refine the RNG system? That was another thing on my checklist. And the problem with loot is not just the RNG, it's the dang useless loot once you get, you know, past the second half of leveling. be refurbished. I'm going to say you think RN you should have wrote RNG should be refurbished. For the final act of this pre-show countdown, it's a we're going to be joined by a titan who just might sound familiar to you. You may recognize him as a Baltimore City police lieutenant or maybe even the hotel concierge of the criminal underworld, awesome. but to millions of guardians, Lance Reddick is the voice of Commander Zavala, leader of the city defenses, and our titan vanguard. It is awesome that to be here. That titan's bow-legged. It's pretty awesome to be here. So I want to talk to you about the character that you bring to life. Uh, when you approach the mic and you are Zavala what influences your performance money well I mean so uh, it's, it's, it's wow that's actually not that simple a question because um, in some ways it's a very technical process of doing voice acting for a, a video game but um, to me aside from actually doing Shakespeare it's the probably the most Shakespearean role I've ever played um, he's very legal, he's very stoic, but at the same time... Man, he's got some um, bad skin. There's, uh, there's so much weight to everything he does, and so uh, more, than it, more than anything else that I do, I re rely on the director. So the director and I interact a lot when I'm working on this game. So a guardian is a hero, but Zavala is our leader. Did the audio get better, Austin? Awesome. Shakespearean heroes, Shakespearean kings. Is that where your mind goes when you're Zavala? Um, yeah, I mean, to me... Uh, it's it's so funny because <laughs> uh, I'll always uh, sometimes I'll make Shakespearean references when I'm joking like when we were doing the uh, uh, when I was doing the voice for the trailer yeah. that, that's about that's the, for this new iteration uh, I made a comment about uh, oh this is a Henry V this is the 
St. Christmas Day speech. Uh, or yesterday, there was something about him being somber. I was doing a session yesterday, and I said, oh, this is the Hamlet version. So, uh, yeah. It's great that you're able to fall back on your experiences yeah. as an actor and your you know, studies in the classics. We've heard a little bit more from Zavala in the reveal for Destiny 2. We're going to hear a little bit more from Zavala today. Can't wait for our community to see that. I can't wait to see it myself. But without spoiling anything, talk to me about what it's been like working on Destiny 2 outside of Destiny 1. How has the character changed and how has your work on the project changed? Well, I mean, in Destiny 2, he's... Uh, in Destiny 1, he was basically just in the tower, so he was more kind of giving directions. So there was a lot of exposition. There was a lot of um, being kind of the, the A lot the of the exposition. Calm. Uh, in Destiny 2, he's actually in a fight. Uh, obviously, I can't give any spoilers about why that's happening, but uh, yeah, he and, and uh, yeah, they're all in a fight now. Difficult to keep secrets. It's difficult to talk about something we're excited about without Let's telling see if it helps. exactly what it is. I, I feel what? your pain, but in a matter of moments, I want oh, to know oh, yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Uh, Zavala, you have any honey? Part of the struggle. Uh, you're, uh, you're part of the action no. a little bit more this time. Uh, the yeah, yeah. the is, thick uh, stickiness that's, that's of the honey more, helps. Uh, he's, he's fighting. <laughs> fighting for his very survival. Yeah, fighting for the survival what? Uh -huh. of humanity, fighting for the survival of uh, all the guardians. Yeah. So this is something that you understand. It's never fair when you're talking to an actor to ask them if they play the games that they work on. But I have a little bit of inside information here. You play <clears> Destiny. <throat> Uh, yeah, I play Destiny a lot, actually. Almost, uh, I'm embarrassed to say this almost every day, yeah. What level is so you? Ask So, when you him. play Destiny, what class do you play as? Uh, well, I, I play as the wizard? 25% of the time I play Warlock. 25% of the time I play Titan. As you should, yeah. right? So when you're playing as a Titan, it. is it because of an emotional connection to the character, or do you just like punching stuff? <laughs> I just, yeah, I like throwing those hammers. Austin like said, the, get I off, you sick turd. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, have you ever played a raid? Austin uh, took a jab and at your sickness. Like Just so you know, raid. Austin, Juan is seriously <laughs> sick, and that joke is really offensive. I got to play a raid with Commander Zavala. It was actually one of my favorite moments in Destiny, deep in the Vault of Glass, playing with a Titan that spoke with Zavala's voice. So I could I be mean. That. We should do it again sometime. Absolutely. I'm holding a little Absolutely. back. I wonder if there are any people in our community who would like to lead you on another raid. You, you played as a Titan no, mostly, like, right, Juan? So. I mean, all right, all right, well... No, Hunter. Oh, you played as Hunter, well, well, too. Well, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll put together a really yeah. good fire team for us. Hunter. You know, it's like somebody demands their name to be said in a video, but they don't contribute to the videos anymore because they decided to sell their Xbox One. We're going to take a look one more time at the original reveal trailer for Destiny 2. Uh, but if fans of the game yep. want to hear more from you, they Hunter more Master work, Race. Where else can they find you? My booty. Well, I'm on a series on Amazon called Bosch. The third season just dropped uh, about a month ago. Um, I've got, uh, I'm in a new series on Comedy Central. Uh, we don't have an air date yet, but uh, we finished uh, shooting the first season. It's called Corporate. We just finished shooting the first season in February. So that'll, um, that, that'll, let's start I like this guy. Six months or so. Yeah, I like him too. He's great in The Wire. His voice. Uh, you ever see The Wire? His voice is just amazing. Thriller. No, I haven't. That's it's on HBO. It's really pretty, it's, it's a great series. Genre that you might know something he was about. awesome in that. He was in uh, John Wick too, wasn't he? I'm, interestingly enough. I, I'm, uh, yeah, he's I a concierge. A yeah. concierge. Do. So um, I'm really looking forward to that film coming out. Yeah. Well, if you just don't get enough of Lance Reddick and Destiny, those are the other places where you might be able to find him. But right now, we're going to see Zavala as we rally the troops. What's up, Ben Starr? Times may be dark, but we are Earth's <laughs> greatest hope. Look around. A gathering of noble <laughs> guardians, up. new and old. Okay, listen up. You're a bunch of dirty mistakes, but you're all that's left, so you'll have to do our home. Uh, I was this trailer was awesome. Fought against the endless onslaught. It kept coming, so I kept firing. Not gonna lie, I was magnificent. Despite the sacrifice of many brave guardians, we lost everything: the tower, the city, our home. So everything is gone. Your stuff, my stuff. Most importantly, my, my stuff. stuff. Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G. Go. I know you look to me in times of peril. 
but this is not my battle alone. Which means if I don't see you out there, I'll kill you myself. It is time to avenge this injustice, for that is the duty of all Guardians. Worst case scenario, you die. But who knows? Maybe you won't. So I ask you, who will stand with me? Yeah! Oh, really, guys? That, that was inspiring. Also, there will be a ton of loot! Yeah! Uh, yeah there were right? all the 12 year olds That's cheering. Six minutes. Destiny 2 is supposed to come out September um, 15th or 16th this year. What you say, Matt? I'm saying Destiny. Doesn't start asked when Destiny is supposed to come out. Destiny 2. So September 16th, I think. Yeah, I'm going to be broke. Why? But at the same time, um, Marvel just Capcom comes out. Same day, I think, too. See, so you're gonna get that first. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna get this. What the freak, man? A new Sonic game? Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. Too crazy. Actually, there's two. There's one like old school, like the uh, OG, like 2D. Uh huh. And then there's one that's come out, it's like the Sonic Unleashed. Not Sonic Unleashed, um. I forgot what it was. I have it on 360. It's pretty good. I like it. It's like you play as the old Sonic and the new Sonic. 348,000 people are watching this. And, and if you want to talk in chat, you gotta pay five bucks. Are you serious? It's a bunch. 
Yeah. That goes to charity. Yeah, right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to reset the um, the stream. Something was going wrong. For some reason, you did you make an uh, account on YouTube Gaming too? No, but the when you live stream, it's I, I didn't change it um, to put just a regular YouTube, so it automatically links it to YouTube Gaming. So I guess we have both. YouTube Gaming and YouTube. All the live streams go on YouTube Gaming. Which, I mean, I don't know if we should move the whole channel over there or what, I don't know. 10 seconds! Jump off a cliff. <laughs> For as deep and wide as humanity's rivers have run, it has now been reduced to a precious few, needing something to believe in and a place to call home. This is what we have been called to. The future that we fight for. The future we will protect. Headshot. Shaped by the fires of each new battle, we are forged and sharpened into what we must become for the fight ahead. Dang. Warlocks are the only best. the beginning. So tight. A symbol of what we can achieve. Of who we are and our great purpose here. But the day may come when we will be tested. When all we hold dear is threatened. And then we see Maybe we'll figure out what the heck that big ball is now, anyway. That was a pretty cool trailer. He gave me the feels. <laughs> I'm a sensitive guy. That day has arrived. That day we've been waiting for. When we were talking about the slide setup for today, we've got a pretty cool presentation. We're like, hey, Luke, what do you want to put behind you? Fire up on the stage. I said, just can you put like a big ass two? Just 
Yeah. <laughs> Huge. It's like the, yeah, the giant. The reason why is because the two is a reminder. It's a reminder that Destiny 2 is going to be That's a new giant. beginning for everyone. It's a convergence of veteran players like yourselves and new players into our universe. It's a chance for us to welcome the game into new audiences. Can you turn that down a little bit more? Like the PC, where Destiny 2 will be available for the first time. Damn, man, this was said. And in that other room that you're going to go to when we're done here this morning, it's over there to play. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in it. We think it's pretty amazing. I'm sure you're going to tell us what you think about it, too. I know. Read about it on Reddit. <laughs> to us, a sequel just represents an opportunity to start fresh. It represents a chance to welcome new players into our worlds, into the amazing Destiny community that we're all a part of. The second thing I'm going to talk about this morning, as I am the last barrier between you and seeing the game, is the vision for Destiny 2. As we've been building this game, there have been three things that are rattling around our heads. Just three. Those are the things that the team and I are going to be talking about this morning and sharing with you. I'm getting sick and tired first of everybody one saying is a world that pulls we're trying you to get in. new players to this play. This is about having game. a story you can relate to. Like how many players are left in the world that haven't played your game? You want to be, you want to yeah. hang out with characters you want to, you want to work with. And this is about having enemies, of course, enemies you want to face. It's about the way we build our environments at Bungie. We want to create experiences that make you seek what's around every corner. That, that's the first part. The second thing is we want to build amazing things to do. And this is just, this is amazing things to do for everyone, no matter your mood. If you're a solo player, in Destiny 2 today, we're going to talk about how we're changing the way exploring the world works. Okay. If you're a competitive player, I'm sure there are some people who enjoy Crucible in the audience. I saw, I saw Triple Wreck on a flight. If you're a competitive player, we've, we've rethought the Crucible from first principles. We're, we're moving all activities in PvP to be 4v4. We've rebuilt the sandbox in a bunch of ways for smaller team formats. We've, we've done this because we want to create a sense of mastery. In order to master anything, you, like that? Down you to 4v4. understand it. And that understandability comes from a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to get your hands on later this Sounds morning. like it's going to be better than 6 on 6. The third part here is cooperative. <laughs> The maps are probably Everyone gonna be knows. smaller though. I like the cooperative part of Destiny. I like Bungie. Bungie, Bungie maps are great we have though. A ton of new public events. We have brand new. You just strikes. need to get rid of that. Of course, um, there's a brand new the, raid, the and we're gonna show it right now. The animal No, we're not. On the floor. <laughs> yeah. Of course, right? I talk about the raid last because it leads me to my third point this morning, which is about there's always someone to play with. This is a big one for us. The raids in Destiny One couldn't be experienced by everyone. There we go. 50% of people who reached the level cap organized into fire teams and completed a raid. This is amazing. Like, I think this is almost a miracle. Because whether you did it through your friends list or the communities that you formed, or used out of game applications to build fire teams and take on these incredible challenges, or as I know, pull the network cable from Crota. <laughs> I know, that's like a year one deep cut. <laughs> so is that. Uh, but that means tons of players, 50%, never had the opportunity to experience Destiny's most unique content. And that miracle that I talked about, the half of you who've played, that's not good enough for Destiny 2. So this morning, we're going to talk about how Trials, the Nightfall, and the Raids will finally be available to all players. Destiny 2's vision... Matchmaking. Destiny 2's vision boils down to this really simple statement. It's a world I want to be in. When I go there, there's always amazing things for me to do. And if I want, there's always someone for me to play with. On behalf of Bungie and our partners at Activision, thank you so much to the people in the audience who made the trip. Thank you so much to the people out in the chat spamming Senpai or whatever the emotes the kids are using these days. I don't know, I'm too old for that. And to everyone else who spent any time in our worlds, Thank you. The wait is over. Yeah, I like that. This is Destiny 2. All the two, emos, e emotes is home kids home. are using nowadays. I'm making a freaking movie. All right, here we go. This is another trailer. I hope they explain how the, like... Hey, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. 
Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Man, I had that shoulder piece in Halo. Battle stations. Here we go. Everyone with me now. Hang on. Hunter for the win. <laughs> your hunters. I, the warlock saved your hunter's life. Gameplay! Damn. Just damn. Hey, jump heavy. Don't let them pass the gate. The EMAX shuttles are back there. This line until the last civilian is safely away. Incoming! Stop that device! This is the city's new hub. We're fighting. Yeah, it's the the tower. That's you know, this is probably the first mission. What the heck? You see that shield? What? Damn, that's tight. <laughs> Look at the freaking warlocks. What? Weapons? No, oh, that's a hunter. My bad. Dang. Are you sure? I thought that was a tight. That's the warlock right now. What? <laughs> so tight. Dang. Why? <laughs> the last of the shuttles is away. But the speed. You get to answer your question about power? Hell yeah. So you can like spawn weapons. That's tight. Melee weapons. We're on it, Commander. That was freaking tight. You're playing as the main people. Those idiots. Oh, there she is. There she is. You will take no more from us, and you will find no mercy in me. Bye bye. Think, think of the speaker. <laughs> Did that? Oh yeah, the whole thing is gone. She'll find the speaker. We need to move on that command ship. Now head to the north tower. I'm sending a man to Holiday to pick you up. <laughs> That area looks different. What the? Yo, that's straight out of Borderlands. <laughs> 
shield. Someone told me you need a ride. Zavala, you picked up that guardian you never shut up about? Get them on the command ship! No! Hold on Damn. back there! Mini gun, what the hell? Weapons, like variations, there is now. Hey, what's your status? Uh, Grenade launcher, low on ammo. Grenade launcher mini gun, rapid out. fire rockets. It's like a shield, it looks like almost. Please. You see the bottom left? You, like, you, you have three now. I don't remember if you have three or two last time. Three cooldown spe abilities? You have two. You have two, so they added one. Dude, the weapons remind me of Borderlands like crazy. Like. The middle ability. Damn. <laughs> that is so freaking tight. The shield generator should be straight ahead. The dude from Starship Troopers. <laughs> Chinese clap. Oh, was that like clapping backwards? What do you mean, the back of his hands? Yeah. Thanks. If the giant burning two isn't enough of a clue, spoilers, we lose. Despite the awesomeness of the Dawnblade we just looked at, we're defeated in our backyard. Earth's last safe city is safe no more. Destiny 2 is a game that opens with loss. In one fell swoop, players will lose their powers, they'll lose their home, and maybe the saddest of all, they will lose their vaults. <laughs> just, I just need a minute for Fabringer. 
Okay. <laughs> Your and guys it's are all ruined taken anyway. by Dominus Gaul, the leader of the Red Legion, who you just got introduced to at the end. Gaul, or Gary, as he's sometimes referred to. Gaul is here for a simple reason. He's been raised since he was just like a little turtle, just a little guy, to believe that he and the Red Legion should have been chosen to receive the Traveler's power. Gaul believes in a better class of guardian. He's here Matt, because he believes the, the Traveler, from the TV. choosing us, made the wrong choice. Why? Oh, and Destiny echo? 2, Gaul intends to show the Traveler yeah. the error of its ways. Humanity, us, just turn it down. we're just in the way. The game opens with loss and becomes a game about recovery. Recover your powers. Become strong again. Reclaim your connection to the Traveler and find powerful new gear, weapons, armor. Recover the Vanguard. Those three characters we just saw, Zavala, Cade, and Ikora, they're all dealing with this loss just like we are and in different ways. Zavala, the leader of this whole thing, He's having an existential crisis. He's wondering things like, without the light, are we even guardians? Although it's like, it's Zavala's voice, not mine, so it's way more awesome. It's way better. Ikor is angry. The warlocks who like, value so much of their connection to the Traveler and knowledge, one of those two things has been taken away. So in her rage, she's fled. We have to find her. And then Cade, sort of plucky hunter leader, Cade goes off and does the least expected thing of all. He goes off and tries to be a hero. And what happens next is pretty expected, because it goes totally sideways. Let's take a closer look at the game scenario and the things you're going to chase in Destiny 2. Hey, you two. Give me a sec. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. Or a robot. Destiny 2 tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes loses their powers, their history, and home? Since Destiny 1 released, there's been no robot. foe that they could stand before and not tip over. Whether it's Crota, Oryx, Spider Monsters, Whatever. But in the opening of Destiny 2, players realize there is, in fact, a foe who has the power to not only take everything you own away, but to take your power away. I am gone. And your light is mine. Dominus Gaul is a Cabal warlord who has brought with him the Red Legion and has come to our system to take the Traveler's powers, the light, take it for himself. Gaul's jealous. He wants to have the light. He wants to be chosen. Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to erase humanity off the face of the Earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like uh, Alan Rickman's character. The guy looks like um, Kevin Smith. <laughs> Minus all the Britishness. The protector itself, the traveler, is put in a cage, and in an instant, all guardians lose their light. Unexpected and irreversible. You can no longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is stumble. Nobody expected that light could be taken away once it was given. The city has been lost, and the vanguard's been cast out, and you are the hero of this story. Whether you're a titan, a warlock, or hunter, you have to go out and get your powers back and take back the city. Some G. Whether you're playing Destiny today or it's going to be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. It's a fresh start for all players. I was hoping they would put you in a new class. Destiny 2 has an all new cinematic campaign. Like, um. There's more cinematics than tight. we've ever had before. I How think. long before the fleet's combat break? Had more story missions. There's nothing new. There's quests, there's adventures, there's gonna be people talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. 
all new worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. And in Destiny 2, we built you all new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of brand new exotics. We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're gonna have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot, in the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom and more choice to use the stuff that they love. Each character yeah. has these new supers. And, and it looked really like a melee weapon. The way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawnblade. <laughs> you can cast your super. You've got your sword, and you're flying over everyone. And you can just rain down fire, phoenix, projectiles that just decimate people. And then you have the Sentinel. The Sentinel is a Titan, and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. We can throw his shield and That's bang tight. off dudes' heads. Then you have the arc strider. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. Damn. That looks the idea of losing your home and being cast out and the lengths that you, you caught how to he was like, we've out. added it's a all raid tied together to be something that's really meaningful. The sense of starting as an underdog and climbing to a great yeah, height is really one. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Destiny 2 is the place where we get to reach back out to everyone who could enjoy a sweet first person shooter in a future world with giant awesome aliens to fight and gear to chase and powers to use and say, come check this world out, come get invested in this world and in this story. <laughs> See, I got dressed up like a titan. Wow. All right. Are you guys ready to check yes, these you. worlds out? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to applause after every sentence. I'm going to be up here for a while. Uh, this is what we get to do. We get to build worlds. This is what, when we make Destiny, we get to build worlds that pull you in, and you get to visit again and again. And then we get to fill those worlds with action, like what you saw in Homecoming. I have two kids, and just like you guys, they play Destiny a lot. I can tell, don't worry. Especially the guy with the Titan armor on. And my oldest plays a lot like I do. He's a solo player. He loves a campaign. He loves story missions. He patrols the wild as a lone wolf. And he loves it. I think I said that a few times. My youngest likes to compete. He's always in the crucible. You guys know the feeling. He's also in a clan that he raids with. So I'm not going to tell you how old he is, because he's, he's already better than me. And, uh, and he reminds me about it all the time. Hey, Dad, look what I got today. Check me out. You guys know what it's like, right? Oh, my God. And no, I'm like, not, not all of us have go a family that cover the entire deal with another game's child in my life, Luke mechanics. <laughs> and he's like, guess what I got last night? Check me out. That's my best Luke Smith impression. The point is, there's a lot to do in Destiny. And it's this variety that can appeal to all of us, right, in any type of mood that we're in. And now we've added more. Destiny 2, there's, there's more to do than any game we've ever made at Bungie. So we're going to start with what's coming back. We start with a brand new story, the Red War Campaign. It's going to send you across the solar system and back to all new places. Yeah. On your journey, you're going to experience new missions and more cinematics than we've ever had in a Destiny game. You just saw a part of the first mission, Homecoming. And today, we're going to get the controller in your guys' hands, and you're going to get to play it for yourselves. Yeah. Strikes are back. The cooperative missions, you guys can play with your friends if you have them, 
or guardians you haven't met yet in matchmaking. We've got a new strike. It's called the Inverted Spire. And you guys are going to get to play that today, too. Yeah. It's, it's going to take you to one of the new worlds, Nessus, through Red Legion territory we have and into a, a Vex strike. stronghold. Hey, is, where you're going to fight a three-stage <laughs> boss. It's pretty sweet. And then there's the Crucible. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask. PvP players, thanks. A competitive multiplayer, the place that brings you into combat with the most dreaded opponents in the world of Destiny. You guys. You know, they should add like PvE said, we've made and add like a fire, um, to the Crucible and Destiny what was that, too. in Halo? We're building it for, for PvP players. Firefight. Firefight. It's now 4v4 across all the game modes. Yeah. The new HUD has got information about your opponents, like whether they have their super ready, whether they picked up power ammo, all towards the same goal, to make it an experience that's easy to get into, but it's hard to master. Yeah. So we got new maps, we got new modes, and we believe this is the best PvP offering that Destiny has ever seen. Today we're introducing one of the brand new modes, it's called Countdown, the first ever attack defend mode in Destiny. Internally, we've had some pretty intense play tests, and today, well, you guys are going to get to play that too, so, yeah. So take a look around, because these are your teammates, and your opponents, that's right. Of course, of course. <laughs> any day, any day. Of course, we have a brand new raid. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and we're going to show it to you later. The pinnacle activity, the biggest one challenge one. a guardian one. can face. How many were in the original? Anyone that's ever completed one of these glass, knows right? are mysteries then, for you guys to find it? to solve together on your own. We're going to leave that to a later day. The other one has four. And then there's another area that we've made yeah, really at big the improvements end, but like to. A, really excited about. Game release, it was just one too, right? Exploring the worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really cool stuff. So for many players, exploring the worlds its own reward. Patrols were an invitation to touch down on a landing zone, gain favor with the champions of humanity. But in Destiny 2, we've made being in the world so much better than just doing patrols. There's so much more to do as you explore. Now, you can launch all of the new activities in the world without going to orbit. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite place to go in Destiny. Uh, there's still patrols, ambient encounters, materials and chests for you to find, so public events that now have heroic objectives. But now, there are adventures, treasure maps for you to follow, lost sectors for you to discover. Just choose a landing zone, and the rest is up to you. You're going to meet cool. new characters in the world. They have their own story to tell. They're going to send you on those side missions, adventures. The adventures are filled with new mechanics, new encounters. They're going to take you to new places and each have their own rewards that's going to make your guardian stronger. These same characters are also going to mark your map with mysterious locations to discover. These we call lost sectors. When you descend into these dungeons, you're going to find a cache of treasure and a boss that holds the key. Yeah. All of this is going to be easier to find in Destiny 2 because of the new map to guide your way. You can choose to map. play the way that you want. You can search for lost sectors, complete adventures, rally to public events. I mean, this for they one now planet, show up marked on your good. map where yeah, and no. when they're going to happen. <laughs> These activities are the foundation of Destiny 2. And we're going to take you to all new places to do them. Four brand new worlds. Worlds filled with mystery, adventures, and new characters to meet. 
but the team can show you these worlds better yeah, than the Earth is. <laughs> so let's check out the new worlds of Destiny 2. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Uh, we've been to Earth, buddy. We were to Russia. Yeah. We have these incredible worlds to explore. There are all new destinations, new planets, with incredible spaces and secrets hidden. Now we have stuff tucked around every corner, under every locked door. There's something there for you to find. The map is a huge part of this new player experience for Destiny. Big. Now you can actually go directly from one planet to another planet without going to orbit first. You can just open huh. the director, pick your new destination, and go straight there. about getting you into the action faster. We want to remove as many barriers as we can between your gun and the enemy's face. Everything you're doing on every destination is about getting more powerful, and it's about getting the band back together. The vanguard have been scattered, and as a player, it's your job to go out to these mysterious destinations and gather them back together. And everywhere you go, it's about growing more powerful and learning how to go back and take back your home from Gaul. One of the first destinations that you're going to go to is the European Dead Zone. This is an incredible place. It's the largest destination we've ever built, easily, maybe by factor of two. And we have found a refuge where we've built a camp. It's the place where humanity stops fleeing, and it's where they decide to, you know, plant a flag, start getting strong again. One of our new worlds is Titan. It's a moon of Saturn. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. That's where Zavala chooses to go, to heal his wounds and to recover from the assault and the defeat that he's just suffered. It's this incredible methane ocean with 40 meter high waves, and there's an old human utopia there that's sinking into the ocean. These huge monolithic structures constructed by humanity at the peak of the Golden Age. There's literally no land mass on Titan. It looks like the ocean. Cade is on a planetoid called Nessus. It looks it like a whole planet from Star totally Wars that was just Totally occupied by the Vex. Yeah. They have transformed it almost entirely into one of their machine worlds. It has its own native vegetation, and the landscape has these incredible canyons that are actually based off of this um, word I will mispronounce called Tepui, which is like these Brazilian plateaus. And then we go to Io, which is this sort of sulfuric yellow moon of Jupiter. Io is the last place in our solar system that the Traveler touched before the collapse happened. And you can imagine that a place where the Traveler once appeared has a bunch of mythology and lore and mystery surrounding it. It's a very sacred place to guardians, and particularly warlocks, and particularly Ikora. This is where I return. So three plan three new planets, you're gonna have to go to each one to get each of the three leaders. And it'll take five hours and twenty-two minutes. Complete the campaign. Get the main story. All the best stories Probably. in my personal gaming history have Unless you get sidetracked by side missions. From yeah. bonding with my own brothers to leading my own guilds and running tournaments for the different games I've loved. You know, growing up. Becoming a part of these communities were some of the first times I ever felt like what it was to belong. And I'm incredibly grateful for the friendships that have come from playing those games and the impact that they've had on me. You know, over time, I've come to understand just why games are so important. Games are the best medium for bringing different people together. You know, and now at Bungie, I'm surrounded by so many different people who have very similar There's stories. There's no fat dude in that picture. And it's an absolute the middle ginger one. to be part of a studio who cares deeply about bringing people together and building communities in the games that we play. I don't like being stereotyped into the that picture. The last three years has been an amazing experience watching Destiny launch and seeing our communities form. You guys have worked together 
to solve the challenges that we've thrown at you. You've teamed up to help each other learn how to play the ins and outs of this game. And you've gone above <laughs> and beyond it's the game itself to better the lives of others. You have helped us build a world that has brought people together. And we are so proud of the amount of respect and love that has defined this community. So many lives have been changed by you, and they will continue to be changed. We know we have to continue to support this, and today I'm happy to say that in Destiny 2, clans are coming into the game. <laughs> so, for those of you who are unfamiliar with clans, they're optional teams that you can join, making it easier to play with other people. For me, playing with my clan has been core to my Destiny experience, but up until now, coordinating with my clan had to happen outside of the game. With Destiny 2, we're bringing official clan support into the game. We want it to be easier. We want it to be easier for you to manage and grow your clan. So we're adding in-game So Destiny 2 is adding the clan to we're the game. We're adding tools you need to build your fire teams and custom banners for you to help shape your shared identities. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on which clan is getting lost. Depends on which clan you want. On top of that, the game we're adding a reward system that is shared by Hopefully, every member yeah. of your clan. Not the Ku Klux Klan. So whether you're the type of player who raids every week, or you only have the time to jump into a few PvP matches on the weekend, your contribution will help everyone in the clan get rewards. And rewards. Now, we realize that joining a clan is not for everyone, and that's okay. But this is why I'm super excited to say that clans are going to matter to you even if you never join one. In Destiny, we had co-act activities that were designed to inspire friendship. Activities like the nightfall, raids, trials. We deliberately kept them exclusive to dedicated groups of people because we believe that challenge is what fuels the memories between you and your lifelong friends. And we didn't think that matchmaking was a great solution because of just how toxic gaming communities can get when you throw no, strangers know. temporarily into these challenging experiences. I mean, people online, and just leave. And while we think <laughs> that playing with a group of people that you know and trust is the best way to experience the game, we made it inaccessible for some players to experience our endgame content. So we had an idea. We have these clans who are our best examples of communities with positive culture. And we have so many players who are looking to play challenging content in this welcoming environment. What if we put those two together? We're trying something new in Destiny 2, and we'd like to introduce you to Guided Games. Now, at a high level, Guided Games is a system where clans and solo players can meet to play challenging activities. And as a solo player, you can use Guided Games to pick a clan you want to be paired with for a session of the raid, a session of trials, or the nightfall strike. <laughs> and the most important thing about this is that you get to see which clans are currently hosting, and, and you're able to read just a little bit about them so you know who they're looking for at that moment. You get to see how they present themselves, and you get a little sense of what type of players are part of that clan. And for players who are in an active clan, you know that building a full fire team of six to run the raid can still be a frustrating experience. And if you're a scheduler like me, then you're motivated to play with a consistent group of people. But you've probably had to deal with the experience of someone bailing at the last minute, and then you're scrambling to find the substitute, and you're just trying to keep the group together. With guided games, you'll be able to open up your party to new players who are looking for a group to play with you. That's stupid. She's, they're addressing such a minute like situation in the game. Just add freaking matchmaking so you can group up. are now the foundation of the community that leads every player to all the most challenging content. And while we're really happy to say that everyone is going to have a chance to experience everything that Destiny 2 has to offer, we're really more excited about who you're going to meet 
and how you're going to play together. We know there is a community for everyone, and we hope that in Destiny 2, we can help you find one where you belong. Not impressed. Destiny 2 really tries to say, you belong. You can play by yourself, and that's awesome. But playing with someone else and tackling a challenge together, that's when we believe Destiny is really at its best. We've heard loud and clear from a lot of our players over the last couple of years that they really wanted to play in-game activities like the raid and the nightfall strikes and require a group, but they just no. couldn't get enough players to play at the same Stupid time. Stupid clan so big challenge is like, how do you take the no, you have to be in a of clan. matchmaking and how do you take the Good magic people. of community building and help people find the people that you will have a great time with? We're adding two showing all these systems powers, to that man. are pretty critical. Clans and guided games. Clans have always been a part of Destiny. It's just been a oh, name for the second friends list. But clans are finally in the Destiny 2 game. Clans in Destiny 2 are I've groups heard, that you can join. A fair part, Orbit. When you're looking for the clans, you kind of get to see their motto, you get to see their name, you get to see that awesome clan banner there, and you kind of get a sense of who they are before you say, you know what, yeah, I'm going to go play with these guys. Yeah. Clans are going to have progression, rewards, and they're also going to be guides for the guided games experience. Guided games is a way to allow solo players to seek out clans, to find people who are already hosting a game who are just looking for one or two more players. So imagine you had five people who wanted to play Raid, but they're missing a sixth person. Then you have a solo player who's never played Raids before, and they're like, I just want to see what this yeah, is like. Yeah, let's bring the guy who's never done Raids before on our team. Guided games are our way of we'll be sure successful. everyone who loves Destiny can play every piece of content we build. Guided games doesn't require any commitment. You just have that really great experience, and then you can part ways. But our hope is, if you have a blast in that activity, maybe you'll make some friends and join the clan. Destiny, through clans and guided games, is going to help people fill out their friends list, so they're always going to have people to play with. What we try to do in Destiny 2 is we this looks more like a substitute for matchmaking. It is 100% substitute farm, for matchmaking. You meet making. this character, Hawthorne, who doesn't live in the city anymore, but she went out into the wilderness and created a community of her own. So we use the storytelling. It's created so many friendships that would have never existed, all because of this game. Andiamo! Wow! We really try hard to make sure from the ground up we're building this to be an experience that you want to share with your friends. And not only your friends, but the potential friends that you could have. I've never had a game that feels like home before, but Destiny just feels like home. There are no words to explain how much I love, love this community. People have found a new place to call home and new people to call family. Destiny 2 is really ramping up everything in every regard. I think it really is about the breadth of experience that you can have. Whether you're in match-made activities like PvP and Strikes, or whether you've taken a step into guided games, it's a game that's best enjoyed beside other players. That's the heart of Destiny. That's what the game's about. If that's what the game's about, then add matchmaking. Stop freaking beating around the bush. As you just saw, Destiny is a series that brings Man, people the together. On the ground. It's allowed me the shield? to reconnect with an old friend from junior high. Oh, yeah, the Titan. Titan. Like, like a, from an like a half barrier. Yeah. yeah. I was sitting at the Sony E3 press conference a couple years ago, and Destiny the Taken King was just revealed on stage. And my phone starts buzzing, and I look down, and it's a message from this friend. And he's like, dude, do you know anything about this Destiny game? And I'm like, yeah, I know a little bit about this Destiny game. And since then, we've played the game together for dozens of hours. We've introduced our families in real life. And we've got the opportunity to laugh again, just like we did when we were kids playing Super Nintendo in his parents' basement. Destiny's also given me the opportunity to grow closer with my youngest brother. We talk on the phone now, almost every week. Destiny is and turning into a minutes, Tinder app. Of talking about our jobs or talking about our parents. 
<laughs> we're talking about destiny. We're talking about our guardian's trials, where we've been in the world, the crazy loot we found, his story about how he got Gallahorn, the dudes he's been crushing in the crew. Oh my God, this is so cheesy. And every week, he asks me about destiny too, and every week, I deny him, until today. With Destiny 2's clans and guided games, we aim to bring together millions of more people just like that. To reconnect with old friends and to meet new ones that you'll never forget, that's the promise of this game. To us, Destiny is more than just a game, though. It's a world where you can lose yourself for 10 minutes or for 1,000 hours, where you can explore the world at your own pace, or take on some of the most competitive challenges available in video games today. Where you can play solo, like I do most of the time, or with an old friend, a family member, or with someone you just met. This, this is Destiny 2. Destiny is a world I want to be a part of, where there are amazing activities to do every week, and there's always someone to play with. On behalf of Bungie and Activision, I want to take this opportunity to thank this incredible community that inspires us to work Would have been tirelessly made four players, to make this three. game a worthy sequel to the original. <sighs> Before I pass on the baton to Eric Hirschberg at Activision, who's going to close out the show, here is the official gameplay trailer for Destiny 2. We just see this Icora, one? If you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Kate, is the easiest thing I'll we do We just saw all this. What the heck is this cool. again? What have you got? Have Someone been. or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. That's a little edited. Battle stations! Everyone with me, now! Our home. So that's the same voice from the guy that's Atrius and now Naval Wars too. They threaten our oh, yeah. very existence. That's the guy from uh, Starship Troopers. Yeah. But if we attack together, we can take back our home or we die trying. Is that the traveler back there? Or what? September 8th. September 8th. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? And no one doesn't like Nathan Fillion. Don't bother. Uh, as awesome as that trailer was, I can tell you, because I've been, been playing the game a ton, it is even better than it looks. I could not be prouder or more thankful to our partners at Bungie. They had a big vision for this game to make Destiny 2 uh, a sequel-worthy successor to what they started with Destiny. And they've also really listened to all of you, to our community. 
And I think they've made all the right moves to make Destiny 2 just awesome. So let's hear it for Luke and Steve and Emmy and Mark. And let's also hear for the entire Bungie team that they're representing back home who are just killing themselves to make this thing awesome for you guys. Amazing work. Now, you know, long before I was a uh, partner of Bungie's, I was a fan of Bungie's and their like, games. Literally, and it's just so been excited. an honor and a pleasure no, I'm just joking. to <laughs> call them our partners and to help them bring this vision to life. And for all of you who are here in person, in just a few minutes, you're going to be the first people in the world to put your hands on the controllers and get your hands on Destiny 2. You are going to play uh, the first campaign mission that you saw at the beginning of the stream. You're going to get to team up with one another and experience a brand new strike. And you're going to get to battle it out in a brand new multiplayer map, playing a brand new multiplayer mode. So it's going to be a lot of awesome content. And for those of you who are watching at home thinking, well, that sucks for me, uh, don't worry, we've got your back because uh, we are going to be hosting a beta later this summer so everyone will get a chance to get their hands on Destiny 2 before the launch. <laughs> now, doing all this, bringing a vision and an undertaking as ambitious and huge PS4 as Destiny first. 2 to life, uh, it takes more than just the great talent we have at Activision and the great talent we have at Bungie. It takes partners who also can see the vision and believe in the vision as much as we do. And we have a partner just like that in Sony. They have been by our side since really before day one. And these guys are you know, legit. Some of the hardest core Destiny players I know are on the team that we work with at Sony. So they've been hugely supportive every step of the way of Activision, of Bungie, and of the Destiny vision, uh, including uh, today, because they're providing all of the slick 4K PS4 Pros that you're gonna be playing on today. So, a heartfelt thanks to our partners at Sony for being there with us. Let's hear it for them. Screw you, Microsoft. Now, it's no secret that Destiny has inspired millions of console gamers all over the world, but there is, is one sad. community so far of gamers that have never been able to get in on the fun, and that's all you PC fans out there. Now, now, as you know, we've already announced that Destiny 2 is coming to the PC, and it's going to be just an epic version of the game. And today, you don't have to take my word for that. You're going to get to put your hands on it and check it out for yourself and see all the love and attention that we're building into it just for PC fans. But what we haven't announced is where you're going to be able to find it. Well, let me tell you, there is a place out there where the most awesome PC games and the most passionate PC gamers anywhere in the world Steam. both live. Better be Steam. And Destiny 2 is going to live there as well. So I want to uh, introduce a friend of mine who wanted to be here in person. He's all the way over in China today, so he's going to get in on the fun by video. But uh, he knows a thing or two about epic PC games, and it's my friend and counterpart at Blizzard Entertainment, Mike Morheim. Thanks, Eric. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Morheim from Blizzard Entertainment. <laughs> and I'm excited to be part of today's Destiny 2 celebration. You may be wondering, why is Blizzard crashing a Destiny party? Frodo Baggins? Well, we're big fans of what Activision and Bungie have done with Destiny. We think it's a great game and a cool universe. And we have a soft spot for collecting lots of epic loot. Also, as you know firsthand, there's an awesome and passionate community around the world who loves this game. With Destiny 2 coming to PC, we thought it would be a great opportunity to bring the Destiny community and the Blizzard community together. So I'm excited to announce that Destiny 2 will be available for PC exclusively through Battle.net, Blizzard's online gaming service. Players will be able to buy and download games, explore content, and connect with each other through social features. Which means that you're going to see lists, Destiny characters inside of um, Blizz We're Heroes. We're excited to partner with the talented folks at Bungie and Activision to make this happen. And we look forward to bringing Destiny 2 to Blizzard's platform. You on Steam. Now, you to go I know to you have an action Yeah, you got to sign up for Battle.net. With a bunch of Destiny 2 content to check Which out. Which I mean is whatever. So it's not, it doesn't cost anything. We'll see you it's the same thing soon. like Steam. Steam would have been better, though. So thanks, thanks to Mike for helping us uh, make that great announcement. Uh, thanks again to our partners at Bungie for doing what they do and making an awesome game you're going to get to check out today. 
Uh, thanks to the entire team at Activision for doing what you do and bringing this thing to life. But most of all, we all want to thank all of you, all of you here in person and all of you watching all over the world. This game is built on the belief that playing is always more fun when you're doing it with your friends. 401,000 no people flat, watching. You guys have made the Destiny community one of the most engaged, one of the most passionate, one of the most positive gaming communities maybe ever. So with that, for those of you at home, we'll see you online this summer in the beta. And for those of you here in the room, let's go play. Thank you. I guess you can put it up here right now. Pretty much. What do you think? Uh, um, I wish it would have... Added a new <laughs> character. Fun house. Hey. Bruce, I say Bruce. Hey. Huh. What would you say? I'm sorry. No, I wish I would have added like a new character, a new character type. Yeah. Um, matchmaking is still not there. Nope. We don't get any DLC until six months later. <laughs> so oh, hopefully man. the game is not dry bones like the first one. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it's going to be initially. I mean, there might be stuff to do as far as like side quests, adventures, or whatever. That's that's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna get it. It'll be fun. I mean, the first Destiny game was fun. It just got repetitive. It was like the same stuff over and over again. So at least it'll be a this will be a new experience uh, for the most part. What are you talking about, Matt? It's four new worlds, even though you've been to the same one. I know. <laughs> it's just a different state. I'm sorry, country. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb. But, you know, what? And then you'll get three. So they'll sell the deluxe edition for $90 that has two DLCs, and then they'll release two more DLCs that you pay 30 bucks for. So 200 bucks to get the full game. Like the last one? Yep. All right. I'm going to stop the stream. All right, see you.